right, folks, welcome back. If you are new to the channel, thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. Just a quick intro to this one. A couple hours of trolling up here in Maine. We are first thing in the morning. We are 5.30. I got out here just after five. Uh, we're technically not even sun up yet. Trolling for brown trout primarily. There's also brook trout and splake in here. I've already got three hits. A perch, what I thought was a trout, and I possibly missed another trout. I'm going to be trolling spoons, lead core. I only have about two to three hours to fish this morning. We've got a bunch of plans today. And tomorrow is going to be raining. And I may not be able to get out next weekend because we have plans. So I uh, decided to come out today. It is a little breezy. They're predicting like 10 mile an hour winds first thing in the morning. Which is less than ideal, but it's really the only window I had to fish. So we're going to get into it, uh, just a real quick intro, and uh, hoping we find a couple fish. Nope, I think it is one of them wimpy perch. Dang it. He was just kind of foul hooked. Felt a little bigger. That's a trout. That's a trout for sure. Windblown shoreline. I changed locations. Got out of that first area because I was a cut with perch. And it feels like a decent fish. Hoping it's a hoping it's a trout. Definitely a little harder with as much wind as we have. Feels like a quality fish. At my weeder. Oh yeah, this fish is digging. Nice brown. Heck of a brown. Nice brown. Nice sturdy little brown. Slightly bigger than average for this place. Back. So one thing I like about browns is they are a very sturdy, hardy fish. I've never had one not take off, no problem. So that's the first trout of the morning. Unfortunately, it took an hour and 21 minutes to find it. And a pretty significant location change. But that's how it works. Uh, really, I mean, not much to say about this area. It's the windblown shoreline of this place. I was in right around 20 feet of water. I was down 15. So I was down three colors on the lead core. It hit on that orange spoon with black dots. That's my go-to for browns. It's, uh, for some reason, just a spoon that always gets it done. But gonna stick in this area I may get set out and do a loop around go through that area again because I did mark a couple fish just before I caught that one so more than likely that was a fish I marked on the screen we are getting a pretty stiff wind right now it was blowing off and on but it is pretty well constant right now I may have to get off this wind blown shoreline and find an area that's not quite as windy. Feels like a perch. That feels like a perch. Not a little shallower. In 13 feet of water. If that's a white perch, you'll be surprised. Normally they hang a little deeper. Oh, that's a little, that's a little brook trout. That's a little brook trout. Just a little guy. I wonder if that's a little native. This is why I'm swapping over to single hooks. I pinched the barbs down on all these, but 
just about phasing out of, out of triple hooks. Nice little brook trout. Just probably like a little, a little 10 incher. Nice pretty fish though. I'll take them. I'll take fish like that all morning long. That trout hit off of this Wonder Bread color spoon. Good color for brook trout, not so much for brown trout. It's got a nice mark down 15 feet and both of these spoons are going right at 15. And that was a sizable mark. If uh, that fish hits, it should be a good one. Masher of a trout, but it feels decent. That's always cool though when you can see a mark, adjust to it, and catch the fish. That's always always pretty cool. What do we have? Yeah, another brook trout, horse blake. Let's see, trifecta. Is this a blake or a brook trout? What did we get? Another brook trout. This guy was out pretty deep for a brook trout. Nice brookie. Nice solid one. That was most likely that fish I saw. Everything lined up. Oh, another fish. Another one. Wind's actually kind of cold. The wind's been relentless. This may be it for the morning, folks. This wind has come up something stiff. It is uh, relentless. This wind is, is non-stop. It's got to be way more than 10 miles an hour. I mean, this feels more like 15 to 20, and it's relentless. It's been really hard to control the kayak. I've been having a hard time maintaining my trolling speed. I gotta pedal much faster just to stay even close to a good trolling speed. So if I can't get out of the wind on this far shoreline here, I think we're gonna wrap it up for the morning. So I've got a little bit of protection from this shoreline here. Still getting some wind, but I can keep a good trolling speed and I'm not getting crashed with waves every five seconds. So. We're gonna stick in this area. I'm gonna do some laps here. If I stick a trout or two, I'll hang around. If not, we'll be getting out of here in probably, I don't know, a half hour or so. And we're actually going through a pretty good chunk of bait right now. So we'll see. We'll see how the next 20 minutes or so turns out. There's a fish. That may be a trout. I think that's a trout. Yeah, that's a trout for sure. That's definitely a trope. I think we have a trope. A nice brook trope. I think that's a nice brook trope. Solid brook trout. Definitely one of the better ones I've got out of here. That one's off the, the Wonder Bread spoon. It's amazing the difference. The browns love the orange spoon, orange with black dots, and the brook trout like the white one. And I like to run two different color spoons. It's pretty 
got hit already on that one. Yep, yep. A small one. Yeah, dropped it. That felt like a perch. Which is good because we got a nice fish under us right now. Uh, what I was saying is I like to run two different spoons. Once in a while I'll run the same color spoon. Like if I'm on a, a color and I'm in an area where the fish are just hammering one spoon and it's a target fish I'm looking for, I will run the, uh, two of the same color spoons. But on a day like today where I'm fishing brown trout primarily and also brook trout and splake, I like to run two different color spoons. And it has kind of shown today, oh, there's a fish. That may be that nice fish I saw. Dang it, I missed that one. That one's small. Uh, and it's... doesn't feel like perch and it's kind of shown today the brown trout have been into the orange spoon and normally are in the orange spoon uh, all the brook trout today have been off of this white spoon so you know running two different colors really pays off this fish is actually getting a little heavier the closer it gets I think this is a nice fish unless it's a I didn't think this was a, a nice fish initially. This fish is staying way down, whatever it is. Ooh, splake. Did we hit the trifecta today? I think we hit the trifecta today. We got a brown, a brookie, and a splake. I'll take that. Don't rehook yourself, please. Nice little splake, cross between a brook trout and a lake trout. Saw the little fish. So that's pretty cool. We got the uh, trout trifecta for this place. We got the brown trout first thing this morning. We got a couple of brook trout and that splake. And that's all there is for cold water game fish in this place. There's no salmon and there's no lake trout. So we got pretty much everything this place has to offer. So we're going to wrap the video up here. I'm just going to do one more pass in this area. Then I'm going to get out of here. Not a bad morning. That was, I don't know, about three and a half hours of fishing. So just a quick morning. Like I said at the beginning of the video, we have a bunch of plans today, so I got to get home. But not a bad morning. Picked up a bunch of quality fish. Didn't get any huge fish, but that's fine. You can't always get the magazine quality fish every time you go. But good morning. The... Uh, lead core and trolling spoons got it done again it's by far my favorite method of trolling it just always seems to get it done uh, the lead core is very versatile you know you can fish down deep you can fish mid you can fish you know pretty shallow in the water column it's just a versatile system and uh it's by far you know my uh, best producing way of fishing but just a quick one uh we're gonna wrap it up here i appreciate you folks watching hoping to be on some pike uh, midweek uh, it'll be my first pike trip of the year so hoping that works out but we're gonna wrap it up there guys thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one